This picture is taken in Moscow and as you can see Red Square and I'm with David Levy and we were in um, the Soviet Union. Uh, we, I went with I think six millionaires from Toronto who at the invitation of Premier Khrushchev was supposed to go to Moscow to discuss trade. At the end of the tour we were being honored with a meeting with Khrushchev, that's the day before we left. But the night before, these millionaires had had a discussion of some of the questions they were going to ask Khrushchev. So they decided they should have one spokesman. Oh, um, Oakley Dalgleish, who was then the um, owner and editor of the Globe and Mail, um, positioned himself into being the spokesperson. And they had all agreed that they would just have one person and Delglish would be it. And in what Khrushchev sat down, he made a speech welcoming him. Because he had sent his personal jet over to London to bring these millionaires to uh, um, Moscow. And as I said, we had traveled the lengths and breadths of the whole country. And... Um, apart from the drinking problems, uh, it all seemed to go quite smoothly. Um, so the meeting began. Now, Dalgleish, being a newspaper man, um, decided to make the first question not about trade, but about Russian-Chinese relationship. Now, at that particular time, the relationship between the Soviet Union and China was extremely tense. I believe there were border builds up of troops, there was a question of a nuclear strike, and the Russians were paranoid about anything to do with the Chinese. Dalglish's first question was so off the trademark that I, you know, even I was surprised at it. He said, well, taking into account the um, tension between the Soviet Union and the Chinese, did he anticipate a nuclear strike? Well, Khrushchev, just about never mind banging his shoe at the UN, he jumped up and was obviously extremely annoyed and he burst into some Western capitalist lackeys that had come all this way and he thought we were going to do trade and all they wanted to talk about was politics and stormed out of the meeting. That was it. It was short to the point and of course everybody round the table was livid with Dalglish for asking this question.